Hello everyone, and welcome to Season 1. Today we're watching Platinum End, Episode 24, the final one. Well, we're pretty sure the story is over already. This is going to be more like an epilogue kind of episode. So it was a long journey, but we're finally here. Next season, we're going to have new show in its place. Comey's going to be coming back. And I'm going to have to figure out the other shows I'm going to be watching. If you want to have a say in that, just join the Discord and leave your suggestion. Because I'm going blind. But going back to Platinum End. So, last episode we had the stare down, basically, between Mirai and... The Professor. I know it's Yo something, but I cannot remember the rest of his name. And maybe it wasn't quite a stare down, considering he started with the white arrow coming to, towards me and I. What stopped it was Nase interrupting. But because she interrupted, she lost her status from special rank all the way down to second rank. Which meant he only had the, the red arrow, because that would still led Yumiki and Hoshi. I remember this time. Final episode. It's just like Kanade. I only remember when basically it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> but so that they could keep their wings. And but Saki got Umi Umi Haru Umi Jiki Umi Kata I don't remember it's Umi something oh my god I'm just blanking out on names Mikata maybe she got the kid to let them go because as much as he was following the professor's orders Yogane maybe he didn't want to kill someone that wanted to live. He was only helping those that were done. Like, they were done with life. So, that feeling of his overcame the red arrow and he actually let them go. So, the second time, Saki came in and helped him out. And as everyone arrived, one was missing. Yuki. Well, she suddenly popped up behind him and was shooting a white arrow at him because she got the one from the kid. I, I'm so bothered that I'm forgetting all these names at the final episode. And how did the professor get out of that? Nase came in again. And this time she helped the professor because she learned that everyone living was the best outcome for Mirai. Which, so she did that because that wouldn't make Mirai happy. And because she interrupted with an other candidate, she actually got her rank back somehow. But Mirai didn't mind not having the white arrow and wing because everything was over now. The professor was having a realization there now that he was saved by an angel a second time. So he ended up accepting their terms. And so the kid ended up being the god. Because he wanted to give the answer to the professor. And that was also nice because it was from his own free will. It wasn't because of the red arrow that he wanted to help. He already wanted to help him beforehand. So with everyone agreeing, the kid became the new god. The 13 year old kid. <laughs> and everyone... But Mirai, Saki, and the professor forgot. Y Yuki decided to forget, and only those three remember everything. And that's where we ended. So I believe now we're gonna have an epilogue. We did see an image with the title card. So I imagine that's gonna focus on that. We'll see. As a reminder, this is a timer reaction, which means you sync up your own version with mine and we'll watch it together. 
I'll try to add some scenes here and there, but don't expect too much. With that being said, let's get started. Three, two, one, go. Now, interesting that this one's named Final Arrow, considering everyone else lost their arrow. Weird, the lack of animation this scene. Right? And also because he fused with the god, he kind of became an older person. Yeah.これじゃ中海修士の顔をかぶったクリーチャーだ。ミカンの足がするリンゴはリンゴの顔をかぶったミカンでしかないんだ。中海くん、言い方がかみっぽい。中海くんではなく神様。頭の中にクリ
So he's affecting her with the arrow. Yeah, just stay away for 33 days. Yeah, I I imagine it was no romantic feelings whatsoever. Oh, really? Huh? やつばのクローバーも置いてるフラワーショップ。えっと、結婚の約束もしてるってこと。But <笑> And oh, the scar is gone now. Ah, he left that as a gift to her. That's nice. Huh? And he's still able to see that because he has a red arrow. And of course, it makes sense in the hospital. But it has been at least a month now. Yeah. 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 But yeah, he, he knew his parents, her parents, so it was an interesting interaction there. Curious camera that's been going on lately. <laughs> yeah, everyone... Everyone has a different definition for happiness. <laughs> Payday. <laughs> yeah. Ningente. <laughs> なんのために生まれてきたのかとか、何のために生きてるとか、一度は考えると思うんだけど。生まれてきて生きる。その意味が幸せになること。物心ついた頃に母親にそう言われて、その気持ちはずっと変わってないかも。Nice little portrait. Saki doesn't change much. <laughs> yeah, she became sort of religious considering they had all this experience with gods and Angels. <laughs> and what is the most important question? I feel like we know the answer. Yeah, I think we know the answer. Yeah, I think we know the answer. <laughs> nice that we're seeing the reflection in each other's eyes. 
It's so weird to see me and I with this new hairstyle. Okay, so they aren't living together yet. I thought there were when she was cooking and it was... Uh-huh. Oh yeah, she did. Both Mirai and Yonada. So are we going to learn about that now? I'm going to learn about my father's father. 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 I'm going to learn about my father. ナッセが神側の行動を取り得ると期待したのだだがナッセは何も理解していないようだそうナッセはフラクションの神がいるのいや、それが私たちのクリップを見つけたのだよ Oh. <laughs> they were watching over them still. Well, for NASA specifically. <laughs> サキちゃんは毎日神様に向かって手を合わせ世界平和を祈ってるよあのミライ君も俺もしようかなって言ってた神様がずっと悩んでるようにしか見えないから天使たちが心配して仕方ないの帰って元気なくなったんじゃないかとかもう神様じゃないんじゃとかナッセいやナッセーズオーストじゃあ神様頑張ってね With no restrictions The Kakehashi flower shop. Yeah, did we skip ahead again? Thank you. So now it's been six years. It's the professor, Yanada. Oh, Mirai and Saki. I'm surprised they could send those flowers in the mail. Ah, that's right, because she doesn't remember that. Kakehashi Fusai, what do you have to do with your friends? I don't have any friends. If I can't get my friends, I'll get my friends. Fellow soldiers. What a way to put it. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine that with... <laughs> Who is it this time? Oh, his brother! And then... Yumiki and, and Hoshi? Assistant Commissioner? And the two of them? <laughs> Weird that she's calling him Senpai now. But, eh. 
Yeah. Okay. He's seen. It died to the Dakin on Ying and got Jesus stayed in the Teo Casanacte Mohontoni Shinita in Ying and what don't don't shin deir. Ino Nakano Kawas Nakami Shujiwa, Jibun no Mari de Shinita to it as soon in the Ying and Shinita in a car. He can see around the world. Seca is in Tayo Mireva Tetsta to Koroka Tasketa Kunaru Kurida. Sorry, Kono Sekai. Nananda Korewa. Interesting. Because now he's able to see the full picture. Mm hmm. Yeah. Interesting that the god's not very a solid thing like some parts are blurry some parts are swirly <laughs> he's starting to fall into the god thinking huh いや。私がいなくなると展開には師匠が出る。だが博士に残した赤の矢は消える。消えることでクリーチャーがいなくなったことは博士にも伝わる。うん、大丈夫ですか大丈夫だ。ただ少しでも分かったことはある。博士に早
それに愛する人を先に失ったらどれだけ辛いか咲ちゃんと一緒に死んでいけるなら俺は幸せだ私も。Okay, I thought they were gonna disappear, but they're still there. And there they go. I'm waiting to see a conclusion of that because I mean, you got your answer for like a day. クリーチャーがすべての命を消せるのなら天界も天使もクリーチャーもそれは人類殺傷の兵器クリーチャーの目的は命を殺すことそう考える方がよほど現実的私の説ただ一つの誤りはその蘇生稲エネルギー光科学私がまだ到達していない科学すなわちクリーチャーとは I'm, I'm lost in this,、uh, this research and theory because I disagree with that point there. But is this how it's gonna end? Just all、uh, give up on that plan. What is, who's thinking or saying that? Jealous, what? What is going on? That's how it ends. That is so BS. Like, why? Just everything's gone. I really wish there was an end, end credit scene, after credit scene, but I somehow doubt that. Really, was that Nekomi's conclusion to. Nekomi. I thought it was Umi Naka, I think. Umi Taka, something like that, but yeah, Nekomi. So that was Nekomi's answer? To be able to answer the professor, that is so dumb. Like, really? Using a white air on yourself and then just eliminating all life on the planet. What's the point of the professor having an answer for like a couple of hours? And there was that whole talk of him seeing the whole world instead of helping them, he wanted to save them. That's not saving them. In fact, you're making everyone else be involved in that. Nope. I was enjoying this epilogue thing, just exploring things, seeing how everyone's life developed. And him thinking over about this whole god creature thing. But then the moment where he considered using the white arrow on himself, that's everything went downhill. What a mess of an ending. I, I can see how people can think this is artistic, a good closure, but I completely disagree. Like, they should have stopped. Before that, or something, because that is all done. Like, why? I'm 
having a hard time fathoming why the altar decided to take that route. Half the episode was good, but then... Like, we got to see Mirai and Saki's relationship develop, how they develop as people, be more confident and everything. Um, he even talked to her parents, which he knew when he was a kid. Uh, we actually had some Yuri development, because now that she got a some funds, you could say, she, she changed. Even though there's also that gap in her memory that also might have helped her change. Yonda was still doing his research. Because Nakaomi left him with the arrow. As a present to him continue the research. While for Saki, he left the present of no scar on her. Um... And yeah, the whole thing with Nakaomi is so why. Like I was mentioned, he was seeing all this all the Seppuku happening. And he was realized that instead of helping them achieve that, he now wants to save them. But then he does that this, which is feels contradictory for me. Right? Like... <laughs> I'm having a hard time traveling this ending. So we had the... F so let's just go over the series instead. Give me more time to... Take in this ending. So we started with the whole God Candidates thing, and the Candidates are people that just gave up on life, you could say. Which is an instant pick for who you want to be God. But then we are introduced to Kanade, which soon became Metropolitan. His method of becoming the one was, if I'm the only choice, I'm gonna be picked. So he took the violence route, which meant all other candidates turned against him. Because otherwise there wouldn't be another candidate. And he had money, he had brains, and so he was overcoming everyone until he finally had that faithful match, like that final match against them. I guess Mirai, Saki, Hokkaido, and Hajime. I remember that. And he was finally gone. The Bad Royale was no more. So our next opposition was Professor Yanana. But he wasn't quite an opposition yet. He was more, I'm doing my own thing. So we can't really collaborate on picking God while they were using the gov like the government was getting involved, but that quickly got Oh, well, I wouldn't say quickly, but that sorta of got shut down. It did get in the way, especially Susumu Susumu. He definitely was affected by the government getting involved. Yuri, in a way, was also affected by that, but not as concrete as Suzumu. Suzumu? Um... But then, when they had the final encounter, he showed his hand, and he was actually... kind of having the Battle Royale thing coming back, but... Not really, because he wasn't trying to be the last one standing, but rather there would be no one standing, so there would be no creature, as he put it. But because of the encounter and the, the epiphany he had, he ended up accepting them. 
and Nefomi became God. So now we had this epilogue where everyone just was growing, they had their character development, but he was still trying to think over this stuff about the creature, about his merging, about the humans, and how to connect, how to contact Yonada. I feel like there would have been a better way to do that and not just eliminate everyone. Like, for a moment, I even thought, like, if he died, the red arrow was gonna be gone, and he would see that as a message. Like, maybe that's what Nakomi was thinking was gonna happen when he did that. But just... I don't know what to think about the series anymore with that ending. Like... The concept of this show was interesting, not too fond of the battle royale in this first part, but okay, and then we developed past that, and with the government getting involved, okay, that was interesting, and Yonda's thinking theories, okay, and then they had their encounter at the stadium where was just Mirai and Yonda, and that kind of went back to being like just battle, sort of, but think Shinasi wasn't just simply battle and we had the conclusion but then they added this last episode which just was fine and it just dropped I don't know how to feel about the series anymore like I just want to have time to think for myself here because I end it like this. So, I don't think I have any more to say. I feel like my opinion's very much out there. Very much, I put, a, put it out there, rather. So, with that being said, goodbye.